Welcome to this post NFL Sunday Night in America edition of the News at 10. We begin with both hunters and wildlife officials getting ready for the upcoming deer hunting season. Fish and Game is now warning hunters, though, to be on the lookout for the deadly chronic wasting disease, also known as CWD, or the zombie deer disease. Like you said, it sounds like a Halloween headline or it something. Does. KTVB Shira Matsuzawa is here now with what hunters need to know and how they can help Shira. Kim and Mark, Fish and Game have been monitoring for chronic wasting disease since 1997, but they're asking hunters to be more mindful this upcoming hunting season because the disease has been found in several areas along Idaho's borders, including just a few miles from the Idaho state line. Now, there's no known cure for this disease, but here's what to look out for. Infected, infected animal symptoms include excessive salivation, dro drooping head and ears, tremors and shaking and low body weight. Fish and Game says the animals may also show no fear of humans or lack coordination. As we mentioned, this is a disease and it's known as the prion disease, so take a listen. Prion is basically a, a misfolded protein. We, we all have proteins in our body that are in a certain structure and this particular pro protein that we call a prion is a misfolded, so it's, it's almost backwards. Um, and that misfolded protein is the thing that seems to be associated with the disease that we call chronic wasting disease. Now that video is from the Idaho Fishing Game. The disease has been detected in deer near Libby, Montana, 25 miles from the Idaho Panhandle, and in Wyoming Star Valley, less than two miles from the Idaho border. So to keep the disease out of Idaho, Fish and Game are asking hunters to help out. And if an animal is shot in one of the states with confirmed cases, leave any brain and spinal tissue behind to reduce the introduction of the CWD in Idaho. Also, you can stop at a check st station, excuse me, to let Fish and Game inspect any animals. Now, CWD can affect not only deer, but also elk and moose. And in case you're wondering, there has never been a human case of the disease. So that's reassuring. The main de deer season in Idaho starts on October 10th. Yeah, let's all be sharing this story with hunters we know so that mm -hmm. they are all aware. Shira, thank you.